In classical mythology, Syrinx SRNKS, was a nymph and a follower of Artemis, known for her chastity. Pursued by the amorous Greek god Pan, she ran to a river's edge and asked for assistance from the river nymphs. In answer, she was transformed into hollow water reeds that made a haunting sound when the god's frustrated breath blew across them. Pan cut the reeds to fashion the first set of pan pipes, which were thenceforth known as syrinx. The word syringe was derived from this word. In literature, the story of the syrinx is told in Achilles' Tatius Leucippa and Clitophon where the heroine is subjected to a virginity test by entering a cave, where Pan has left syrinx pipes that will sound a melody if she passes. The story became popular among artists and writers in the 19th century. The Victorian artist and poet Thomas Woolner wrote Silenus, a long narrative poem about the myth, in which Syrinx becomes the lover of Silenus, but drowns when she attempts to escape rape by Pan. As a result of the crime Pan is transmuted into a demon figure and Silenus becomes a drunkard. Amy Clampett's poem Syrinx refers to the myth by relating the whispering of the reeds to the difficulties of language. Longus makes reference to Syrinx in his tale of Daphnis and Chloe, in Book 234. Whilst the description of the tale here is modified to that of Ovid, it nevertheless incorporates Pan's desire to have her. Longus, however, makes no reference to Syrinx receiving aid from the nymphs in his version. Instead Syrinx hides from Pan in amongst some reeds and disappeared into the marsh. Upon realizing what had happened to Syrinx, Pan created the first set of Pan pipes from the reeds she was transformed into, allowing her to be with him for the rest of his days. The story was used as a central theme by Ifric Macao Dha in her poetry collection, Gabile Syrinx. Samuel R. Delany features an instrument called a Syrinx in his classic science fiction novel Nova. Syrinx is the name of one of the main characters in the Night's Dawn trilogy of space opera novels by British author Peter F. Hamilton. In the trilogy, Syrinx is a member of the transhumanist future society known as Edenism, and serves as the captain of the Enona, a living starship. In art, the Victorian artist, Arthur Harker, depicted Syrinx in his 1892 nude. This painting in oil on canvas is currently on display in Manchester Art Gallery. Sculptor Adolf Walter was commissioned in 1973 to create a replacement for a stolen sculpture of Syrinx in Indianapolis, Indiana. This work was a replacement for a similar statue by Myra Reynolds Richards that had been stolen. The sculpture sits in University Park located in the city's Indiana World War Memorial Plaza. In music, Claude Debussy based his 1913 Syrinx on Pan's sadness over losing his love. The piece is still popular today. It was used as incidental music in the play Psyche by Gabriel Maury. French Baroque composer Michel Pignolet de Monteclair composed Pan A Syrinx, a cantata for voice and ensemble. Danish composer Carl Nielsen composed Pan and Syrinx, op. 49, FS 87. Canadian electronic progressive rock band Syrinx took their name from the legend. Canadian progressive rock band Rush have a movement titled The Temples of Syrinx in their song 2112 on their album 2112, related to the Rush reference. Maryland-based rockers Clutch mention The Temples of Syrinx in their song 10,001,110,101 from their album Robot Hive, Exodus. The Syrinx Effect is a duo project created by Naomi Siegel and Kate Olsen that consists of trombone, soprano saxophone, and effects.